Hey guys, welcome to beautiful Jasper National Park. It is minus 10 outside right now. And as you can see behind me, we have beautiful mountains and I've got a sunshine mountain yoga flow for you today. Now this yoga flow is gonna be a little bit more of a yoga workout, just because not only we're we focusing on toning up the body, but we're also gonna work on keeping your heart rate up so you can feel a nice sweat and I can stay warm in this cold weather. So if you're ready, grab a mat and let's do it. All right guys, we're gonna start today at the back of your mat. Standing with your feet together, big breath in, arms reach, exhale, take it down all the way over to plank. Hold it, and then walk it back to standing. Reaching back up, and dive it down, plank position. Hold, and walking back. Two more times like that, just warming your body. And down, walking forward to plank. And walking right back up. Inhale, let's reach the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, take it back into plank. This time we're gonna stay in plank position and move into our elbow touches, simply touching your knee to elbow 16 times. And two, three, four, very nice. Try to get physical contact if you can. Awesome, you guys, keep going. You're almost there. Engaging those oblique muscles. Four, three, two, and last one. And Chaturanga Dandasana all the way down. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a breather here, inhale. And then exhale, coming back into plank position. Starting with our side plank, go over to one hand, reaching the other arm up. And starting with a big circle of the arm. One, two, three, and four. Hold, and let's take a dip here. Bring it down with the body, and then lift. And two, three, four, five, six, Seven, last one, hold it. Plank, chaturanga, take it down. Upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, let's go back to the other side now. Go ahead, come to plank. Open into your side plank and reaching the arm up to the sky. And just start moving the arm, big circle in front of you. And two, and three, one more, hold it and side dip, lower the hip and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold and come back into plank. And let's take that Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then from here, reaching your right leg up to the sky, bending the knee, we're gonna take our double pulses. Bring it into plank, pulse, pulse, and then bring it back up. Plank, one, two, and back up. So you wanna think about your knee touching your chest. And up, very nice, keep going. One, two, and up. Pump the knee, one, two, and up. One, two. Keep going, get that knee nice and high. Last one, one, two. Bring it up, hold it here for a second and then big step top of the mat into your lunge position. Reaching both arms up to the sky, hold here for a second. Lengthen the body, let's take our squats. Bend both knees, one and two. Think about getting that back knee as low as you can to the ground. Good job, keep reaching those arms up to the sky, lengthening your upper body. Good, now our last one, we're gonna hold and give me baby pulses. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Hold. Extending the back knee and just holding that high lunge here for a second, opening the chest, opening the heart. And then moving the arms in a big circular motion. Reach and down. Bring it up and big circle down. Awesome. Last two. Really try to get the body moving with your arms. Reach the arms. Hold. Beautiful. Come down with your hands. Let's just take our lunge extensions. Extending the front knee and bring it back to lunge. Exhale as you extend. Lunge as you inhale. Two more. Letting go of any tension in that hamstring. Last one. Let's hold it here. And just think about getting that forehead as close to your knee as possible. Finding your breath. Finding the stillness here. Hold it here. Finding that breath. Exhaling, going a little deeper into the posture. Awesome, let's come back into your lunge. And then we're gonna step back into that plank position, but keep that right foot off the ground. We're gonna take a crisscross exercise, simply tap to the side and then cross it over one. Tap and two. Great exercise for the glute muscle here. Working your core, working your glutes. Toning up those legs. Tap and tap one more time. Awesome. Now when you're done, chaturanga, take it down. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Great job, you guys. Let's do the other side now. Other leg comes up. Double pulses. You're going to bend the knee, pump it in. One, two. And then extend it back up. Again. One, two. And one-legged dog. Pump the chest. One, two. And up. One, two. And up. Keep going. Last one. Bring it all the way up. And big step top of the mat with your foot. Lunge position. Take a moment here. And whenever you're ready, go ahead, reach the arms up. And let's prepare for lunge squats. Extend and bend both knees. Extend and two. Extend and three. And four. Getting that back knee as low as you can. Well done, you guys. Last one. Come on down low. And when you're ready, let's start the baby pulses. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it. Extending the back knee, releasing into that high lunge. And let's take our double arm circles. Reaching forward like you're grabbing something in front of you and open. Reach for the front and release. Reaching forward, guiding that energy through your body. One more. Hold it here. Filling your heart with positive energy. Come on down to the mat. Lunge extensions extend. And then come back into lunge. Remember you exhale as that front knee extends. You hold. And then you come back into your lunge two more times. Extend. And inhale, last one. Exhale, hold it here. Thinking about getting that forehead as close to your knee as possible. Finding that breath. Take a deep breath into your nose. And a long exhale out through your mouth. Coming back into that lunge position. 
reaching both arms up. Inhale one more time for me. And then exhale, let's come on down with your hands into your lunge. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna step back into plank and we're gonna take our crisscross exercise working the other glute. Tap to the side, kick and tap across. And tap, tap and tap. The challenge here is to keep your upper body still and just work that leg. Really engaging the glutes here, but keeping the core strong at the same time. And let's take that chaturanga to the floor. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a second to breathe here. Allow the heels to sink a little lower to the ground. Give yourself a moment here. And let's get the heart rate up again. Slowly from here, coming forward into plank, we're gonna do our slow motion mountain climber. Simply tap your chest with the knee and switch. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got 10 more. Get those knees nice and high. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're almost done. Two, and one, chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, hold it here. And then from here, let's make our way over to our mats with our knees, extending one leg out. We're gonna take our Pilates push-ups, elbows in. Let's take it down for 10, nine, working the triceps, eight, seven, six, Five, keeping those elbows pointed to the back of the room. Two, and one, hold and pump the back leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got eight more, working those glutes, keeping the core strong. And three, two, one, hold it. Let's take our 50-50 plank, release the opposite arm, and simply hold. Finding your breath again now, pulling that navel right into the lower back, feeling that connection between the spine and the core. Beautiful, guys. Let's slowly release. Come on onto your knees. Take a deep breath in. And then from here, we're gonna take our camel posture. Level one, hands can stay on your back and arch. Level two, you can come onto your heels and open the back, allowing yourself to open the heart. Hands back to your back if you're in full camel. Back to neutral spine. Arms reach. And then exhale, let's just round the spine into child's pose. Taking a second here to breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale, come back to your all fours. Tuck your toes and take your downward facing dog. Let's flow it out, come into plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's come on down to your knees and take it to the other side. Extending your other leg, starting with our Pilates push-ups 10 times. Take it down and push up. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Seven. You got it, keep pushing, last two. Awesome, hold it and let's just pump the leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, using those glutes, toning up that whole back area. Awesome, hold, 50-50 plank, so opposite arm reaches forward. And just holding this position, you wanna think about creating a straight line with your leg and your arm. Continuing to pull the belly button right into your spine here. 
and then let's take it back down wonderful reaching the arms up to the sky again and let's take the camel open up if you want to go a little further hands to your heels opening the heart letting go of any tension you would be feeling in your chest in your body awesome hands back to your back lengthening the spine reaching the arms and let's come back down into child's pose to round out the back reaching those fingers to the top of your mat wonderful take a deep breath in and then exhale back to all fours tuck your toes downward dog holding here taking a deep breath in and then exhale whenever you're ready coming into plank and just holding that position shoulders above the wrists belly button to your spine preparing ourselves for the next exercise shoulder taps open the feet tapping your shoulder with your fingers three four five six seven you got eight more the reason we want to keep our feet a little bit apart is so that we have a little more balance here Keep tapping those shoulders, keeping still with the upper body. Almost done. Then we're going to do our table walks. Bring it in, step it out. Step in, step out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Keeping those knees hovered above the floor, shoulders above the wrists, engaging your core. In, in, out, out. Keep going, keep those knees low. We're gonna finish this off with the flow, take it down. Upward dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it, breathe. And then from here, we're gonna hop to the very top of your mat and take our forward fold. Remember to fold from the hips, not the lumbar spine. And then go ahead and just walk out those knees, letting go of any tension in the hamstrings. Allow your head and your shoulders to feel really heavy here. And then slowly go ahead and reach the right arm up to the sky, keeping your left knee bent. We want to aim to keep the right leg straight, taking that twisted fold. Finding your breath here, reaching those fingers up to the sky. And then slowly from here, moving over to our reverse triangle, stepping your left foot back, keeping those right fingers up to the sky, hips are square, and then simply keeping your gaze down, or if you wish, you may look up to the sky. Finding that breath. And then slowly shifting our weight to the front foot, left leg up, warrior three. Arms extend next to the side of your body. Hold, find your center, find your balance. Whenever you're ready, hands can come back down. You can still keep that leg up, just find your balance. And then slowly feet together forward fold and round up to your Tadasana inhale up exhale swan dive down hold it here and then let's take our twisted fold to the other side bending the right knee left leg straight left arm reaches up to the sky hold and breathe here Feeling that stretch along the left hamstring and then stepping back to reverse triangle, right foot back and aim to get that front knee as straight as possible. Don't worry if you can't, just do your best. Awesome, come back down, shift your weight to the front foot lift the back leg warrior three when you're ready 
Take those hands off the mat. Lift your body. Find your balance. And slowly come on down with your hands. Hold it for a little longer. Keep those hips square. Breathe in. Hold it here. Keep your balance with your hands. And then slowly take the foot down. Beautiful. Forward fold. Rounding through the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms together, bring the hands to your heart. One more breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale, swan dive to the floor. Halfway up, inhale. Exhale, jump or step into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here, finding that breath, finding that stillness again. And then slowly make your way over to your knees. Child's pose, forehead down to your mat. Finishing off our practice today by slowing down that heart rate. Beautiful, one more deep breath into your nose. Exhale gently out as you roll yourself up. Let's take two more reaches. Inhale, arms up, palms together to your heart. Inhale, one more, biggest breath of the day. Exhale, slowly bring your hands to your heart. Taking a moment here to thank yourself for your amazing practice today. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed our yoga in the snow. I can't wait to see you again. Namaste. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more yoga videos, fitness videos, and lifestyle videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.